So Anthony, which was my recruiter from WyoTech, calls me out of the blue and says, uh, hey, we've got some guys that are meeting up here at Tom Wood, got a little mixer coming together. We would love an alumni to come and speak and couldn't think of anyone better than me, you know, from Indiana. And I owe the guy so much, I just had to. My true automotive career started at WyoTech. You know, I went to college right out of high school at WyoTech. I took collision refinishing. Uh, then I went on to take street rod, which is like sheet metal fabrication, and then upholstery. And as everyone knows, it led into what my life turned into. So for all that WyoTech and Anthony and all these people have done for me, I owe them, you know, and I was glad to be able to go do this for them and talk to the future students to get them involved in WyoTech to show that with a lot of hard work, it really does pay off. So when we pull up to Tom Wood, uh, I was a little nervous, you know, I know I'm going to have to go in and give a speech in front of these recruits that I know none of them. I don't know anybody. And when we walk in, Anthony was there to greet us at the door and all of those nervous feelings just disappear when you see Anthony. He's one of those guys that make you feel at home. And then all the folks at Tom Wood did too. They had a really good setup for us to come and talk and set up and I felt like we were really welcomed there. It was it was a lot of fun. And then climbing those steps to get to like this little conference area they had set up for us. Really, I mean man, they made, they made us feel good, you know, made us feel extremely wanted to be there. Well, and after I give my speech, which I wasn't prepared to give a speech or anything, they asked me if I'd come up and say a few things, and I, I felt like I, I did make an impact on a couple of the guys because they were willing to come up and talk to me and bounce questions and ideas off of me. The recruits, you know, were doing this, as well as some of the guys from the dealership, you know, I mean, this really good, good people. And them coming up and some of the questions they were asking really kind of reminded me of how long a path it has been since WyoTech to where I'm at now. You know, it really brings things into perspective when you see these kids that are in high school and they're from Indy, they're from Louisville. Some of them were from right around here. I mean, within a 10 mile radius of my home. And I invited them out to the shop too. I, I really hope that in the future we look back on this and see some of those faces in there from yesterday and go, can you believe we gave a speech to this guy? Look at the shop he's got now. And you know, my hope for the future in this industry grows a lot bigger than one speech. So after we left the dealership, it was really cool because not only was WyoTech invested in this day, Tom Wood set it up to where these students knew what there was waiting for them after they get out of school. And they even offered those kids packages to come back and work for Tom Wood that were just phenomenal. I mean, I, I couldn't believe it. But we ended up going over and checking out their collision center and checking out all the facilities, watching them do alignments and things such as that. And man, Tom Wood really, they, they spread out over a lot of square footage up in the Indianapolis area. And to see that they were willing to take the time to help the future generations of what may end up being their employees. There actually was a spot where they were offering a WyoTech package only. And I looked at Trent and said, man, we may switch occupations after that deal. So when Anthony called me, he asked if I could bring one of the cars. Well, the banana hammock is ready to be shown. I was cleaned up and ready to go. So as I loaded it up, took it up there, I was expecting to unload it in the parking lot of the dealership. Never did I dream that they were going to open the front of an aircraft hangar and have me show it in there in front of all these World War II and, you know, around them era planes. And man, here's my little bitty car in with all these giant aircrafts that are just works of art. You know, they're just absolutely beautiful. And the feeling of firing that car up. son to the guy that started Tom Wood Ford in uh, 67, Wyatt Wood is his name, 
he was kind of helping us out all day and driving us around and everything. And I called him over and I said, hey, Wyatt, can I stomp on this thing here? And he said, oh, man, you know, like, you better. So it was awesome to get a stomp that thing in front of the kids. I tell you what, like them having this, if we ever need to do any tests, it, so we can at least call them off that thing in front of them kids. And I think it was a, a, a realization to some of them that there are a lot of paths out there. You know, you can have an upholstery shop and a kind of a small back room shop like me. And the opportunities at WyoTech are endless. You know, age isn't a factor. I mean, I was in classes with guys that were my grandparents' age. You can work at a dealership, and then we're standing in this uh, aircraft hangar that there's a man that watches those, and his job is to work and maintain on those aircrafts. And we're all in the same in the same industry. And to see WyoTech, uh, Tom Wood, and then us at Paper to Pavement all come together and do that was a special day and I hope it was an impact on, even if it was an impact on one of those recruits, the day was worth it. Hopefully one of the people watching this video will see it and this is the, how their journey to WyoTech starts. Uh, we're going to put the link up in the description below. Get a hold of them, get a hold of Anthony Palm if you're in our area, that's who's in charge of the recruiting in our area and I'm sure that he would be glad to send you on the way to a future at WyoTech.